All right, guys. There we go. So, um, welcome to the behind the scene, the official behind the scene. And uh, as you can see, let me show you something. I just finished the video. There you go. So if you are not from the Road Beast place or you just new, make sure to watch the full version on uh, my other channel. Link to that down below as well as on the comment section. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So the goal here is, for example, we got this scene. And so you got uh, the cars all over. Basically what that means is that I want from the viewer to say that huh this monster is just throwing up cars and playing with them but still there is uh, also the other cards who will uh, like fight him but that's gonna be later and so these are hand animated I mean these hand are animated these are the the keyframes we call these keyframes and um, yeah this is really simple like it's really random it doesn't fit it doesn't actually have to be uh, to go like from A to B to C to G etc uh, just like copied and pasted the same key phrase over and over and then mix them up so that it looks uh, way more uh, random and let me show you the track in motion Okay, so, hmm, nope, there you go, don't save, this is it, oh yeah, there you go, so, what I was talking about, uh, regarding the megapixels and everything, first let's start with that, the megapixels, and as you can see as I scroll, there's these big cubes, and uh, the more a camera has a lot of megapixels, the more the uh, image is gonna look beautiful and uh, the, the more these dots these are the tracking markers are going to know which pixel is going to pick so for example here you got oh, oops my bad so for example here we got this pixel and uh, this one is I mean I've choose this right pixel even though as you can see here I choose this spot or the track and marker but this is more detailed and this is just I want to like to make uh, to tell you uh, what are what are the megapixels and like what they do in uh, like the motion tracking also I've shot this in 60 frames per second higher frame rates less uh, motion blur and also less solve errors this is the error per pixel and uh, you need to make it closer than zero you know but if you're actually stuck for example let's say that this one got five or six I don't know just go here and then you reduce a little bit of weight and then go A and then you go to solve and then solve camera motion and there you go actually let me see which one has the highest error there you go I'll pick this one I'll reduce the weight see here it got uh, 0.46 a there you go it went from 0.46 to 0.42 as you can see so yeah this is basically what I learned as well based on tutorials really really useful because um, I don't I don't know what is this but let me check see when I refine it it gives like less solve errors but I'm not sure if it does like uh, makes the um, tracking markers more steady and everything and the third thing is that when you shoot you have to make your shooting more stable I mean the best stable as possible because you know more movement more uh, motion I mean motion blur and you want to do that but compared for example to After Effects Blender is not really I mean it does its job but it's not that much professional 
So, um, yeah, I think that a, I mean, After Effect is there's AI built within within it, but I'm not sure. But it's really professional as well. And yeah, there we go. And uh, regarding the lighting, so as you can see or as you saw, there are two lights. Uh, when I shot, there's one on the left and one on the right. And I kind of imagine what if like there's light bouncing on his back, how it looks like. And so these are the lights. This is like a more presentative way of or based on like the real world, even though a uh, 3G object it's not gonna really interact with you know your your really real your realistic light. So yeah, there we go. Yep, shot these uh, thousand, I guess. Yeah, and uh, here less light because obviously, actually, it doesn't matter because you're not gonna see him in the front. So yeah, there you go. Mm, this is the timeline of the editing and this is the tracks and whatever so there you go this is uh, HW Road Beasts and um, make sure to check the comments or the um, what's it called description down below and it will be uploaded as you can see it's not yet uploaded but uh, the video is due to tomorrow so yeah tomorrow is the deadline enjoy also if you haven't there we go also if you haven't uh, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and uh, so that can be like promoted so that other people can see it otherwise take care and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe that was Shark Ops from Ox Creations. Enjoy. Bye-bye.